Yeah, this is super clickbaity, this image right here. I know! <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Jay Chris, representing the Mob, MC Hammer Tribe, and your boy here, six foot four. What's up, everybody? We're the Williams family. We're from Chapka's Dance. How tall are you, Tag? I'm 6'2". I'm 6 foot, or 1.82 meters for y'all Europeans out there. I'm 6'1". I'm 5'9", 3 quarters, but who's counting? Yeah. In this video, we invited some of our favorite tall dancers to Steezy HQ so they can share their ultimate tips for you to work with what your mama gave you and to use it to your advantage. But first, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell to keep getting amazing dance tips every single week. So, Jay Chris, how do you handle always being placed in the back when you're dancing in groups? Well, it usually starts with a series of tears. Handled it pretty terribly the first couple <laughs> of years, just crying myself to sleep. And then it starts with me just walking to the back center because at least I'll be able to be blocked behind the best person or the choreographer. So when you're a tall dancer, you have longer limbs, which means that in order to get from point A to point B, there's a longer distance. How do you always get to your extension? I think it's important to um, find the pocket in the music that way, because uh, naturally you're going to think that you have to move faster because our limbs are longer. But uh, I think it's just finding the pocket in the music and then being aware of my body. So when J. Chris says find the pocket, he doesn't mean look inside your pockets for a snack because I can't fit in that pocket. <clears throat> Dancing in the pocket is all about making sure that your movements are perfectly in sync with the music. Compared to a shorter dancer, your arms and legs have to travel a little further in order to hit each picture. So you might have to go a little faster so that you're still matching the music. To learn more about Dancing in the Pocket, you can check out our other video right here. Basically, is just practicing when you're doing it like half tempo. So you have to make sure to practice hitting your like angles and your extensions like the entire class. You guys might recognize Williams Fam from all the viral videos that they make. What are some tricks you guys have for not getting cut off in frame? Instead of like going like this and like boom, arms gone, you have to slightly alter your angle, yeah. Also, sometimes we use like a lower angle and also just stay farther back. For as far as the iPhone goes, but the one X at the bottom, that's like the bottom. Like if you post it on Instagram, that'll be the bottom of the video. So we always tell the videographer, like make sure it's above. Our feet are like above the one X. Now, do you train your body any differently from an average size dancer? I think the biggest thing, the most important thing to do is to dance your height or be your height and not think that um, because other peers may be smaller than you that you have to conform to them. So really be mindful of your extensions, really be mindful of what your full reach is, your levels. So basically like also just taking classes that are not big, powerful classes and getting used to that kind of movement. Sometimes we've been in some classes, we're thankful to have been training with Melvin for so many years because it was super hard. When he first started doing all that super fast stuff, we're like, whoa, this is impossible. So yeah, just train with people to push your comfort zone, train with the small ninja dancers. If you're worried about keeping up with dancers of different sizes, then you can take class at your own pace on Steezy Studio. How do you guys stay in sync with shorter dancers? Um, with, with our knees. Yeah, work on your levels and then you gotta work on your leg strength because it sucks down there. I've been here my whole dance life. Uh -huh. So that we can fit in. Yeah. But it does, it definitely sucks a lot more than the average dancer because we have to really go that extra mile, it feels like. <laughs> Managing my energy exertion, like how I exert my body while doing certain moves, I guess like the physics of the, the choreographer's movement, that helps me out a lot more too. Understanding like their uh, weight dis distribution. Ah. Like a lot of people who choreograph really fast, they're never putting their heels on the ground. So things like that, kind of finding little cheat codes that may not be explained like verbally, but you just watch the way that they're dancing and you can kind of see how it is. Do you have any tips for staying confident when you perform? What we like to do, and like Greg kind of taught us this, he's like, yeah, when I'm on the side, when I'm about to perform, I literally tell myself in my head, I'm the best dancer in the world. You know, you don't need to be arrogant and go and tell everyone that. You don't gotta be like, what's up, bro? You ready for this performance? I'm way better than you. Being nervous and being excited are actually very close feelings. If you change from like, oh, I'm nervous, then you're like focusing on messing up. But if you change it to, I'm excited, then you're like, I'm excited to perform and do my best. So we talked a lot about the challenges that come with being a tall dancer, but that's not all there is. So what are some advantages that you have from being tall? I think that one, the most advantage off top is like the being noticed. So no matter what you're doing as a taller dancer, understand it's your time to shine every time you're on stage. Your waves look longer, your pops look bigger, everything. If you're able to train it the right way, for example, Dom, Dom, Dom Johnson. Johnson, yeah, I was thinking of his Instagram. Sorry, Dom, love you. His waves, his body rolls, his levels, he uses all that to his advantage, so um, it just makes it him much more of a versatile dancer. Your face is bigger, so your facials are better. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true at all. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. We hope that you found these tips useful. And if you have your own tall dancer tips, please leave them in the comments down below so we can all share the knowledge. And if you want to put these tips to practice, then head on over to Steezy Studio. See you in the next one. Rossi.